Hi everyone. Welcome to our middle 2020 short paper, Automatic Segmentation of Stroke Lesions in Non-Contrast Computed Tomography with Convolutional Neural Networks. My name is Anoop Toledar, and I'll be presenting this on behalf of my co-authors from the University of Calgary in Canada and the University Medical Center in Hamburg, Germany. In this paper, we trained a CNN based on the DeepMedic architecture, which uses 3D convolutional kernels with multiple parallel convolutional pathways that process the images at different scales. In our study, we used three parallel pathways for processing 3D images at the original resolution and downscaled by three times and five times. The train model is available from this link. To train, validate, and test the model, we used 291 multi-centered datasets of follow-up non-contrast CT stroke images from the ESCAPE and ERASER clinical trials. The ESCAPE data was used for training with 204 datasets and validation with 48 datasets. Our holdout test set came from a completely different study, the ERASER trials, which were taken from seven centers that did not contribute to the training and or validation sets. Each image in this out of distribution test set was segmented by two or three neuroradiologists. As you can see, manual segmentations from expert observers contain a good deal of inter-observer variability. CNN segmentations were generally good, but contained noise artifacts. To improve the CNN segmentations, we performed post-processing using a connected components analysis to exclude small lesion fragments under 1.5 milliliters and a hole filling kernel of three voxels. We optimized these parameters using the validation set. You can see qualitatively that post-processing improves the CNN segmentations. This is also supported quantitatively, where we saw that post-processing significantly improved the dice score of CNN segmentations in both the validation set, where the mean dice score increased from 0.47 to 0.50, and in the out of distribution test set, where the mean dice score increased from 0.42 to 0.45. While post-processing did improve CNN-only segmentations, dice scores from automated methods were lower than the mean inter-observer dice score of 0.73. Importantly, lesion volume estimates from the CNN are consistent with manual segmentations. We showed this in multiple ways. First, we compared the calculated lesion volumes from CNN methods to manual segmentations from multiple observers and saw that there was no significant differences between the manual segmentations and CNN segmentations before or after post-processing. Second, we performed bland Altman analysis on post-process segmentations and saw that there was no minimal bias in lesion volume estimates compared to manual segmentations. Finally, we showed that the lesion volume estimates were in excellent agreement with manual segmentations as the intra-class correlation coefficient between manual and automated segmentations was 0.88, higher than the intra-class correlation coefficient between expert observers, which was 0.80. Overall, our study demonstrated the successful use of a CNN-based method for automated segmentations in stroke non-contrast CT datasets. To facilitate further development of non-contrast CT lesion segmentation methods and to provide a baseline for future evaluations, our trained model is publicly available.